This edition of Computer Club Lesson is recorded on March the 25th, 2015. Enjoy! Hello, welcome to Computer Club Lesson. This episode is brought to you by the Binary Guys. In this edition of Computer Club Lesson, I want to talk to you briefly about the settings in your Chrome browser and Internet Explorer. If your uh, browsers are starting to misbehave, they're starting to give you inaccurate search results, crazy search results, or you're getting uh, pop-ups, windows are popping up in it, um, under uh, new tabs start opening all of a sudden and giving you crazy search results in there. Uh, you can get the um, Chrome browser under control by going to the settings page and um, examining what is there. So at the top right, you'll see three little bars in the Chrome browser. You click on that and it will open a drop down window in which you can find the settings for your Chrome browser. You see it opened a new tab here called settings. The first place we want to look for activities that are strange to you is under the extensions. Under the top left, Chrome, you'll see the word extensions. You click on that and it will open a page showing you all of the extensions that are installed on your Chrome browser. If you find something here that uh, seems a little odd to you, like something from a shopping site, you've been to a shopping site and it has downloaded an extension in the background, and is now taking over your computer. You can remove that simply by going over to the right hand side uh, next to the extension that appears there and you'll see a little trash can. You see it open there? Click on that trash can and the extension will disappear. Go through your extensions and make sure there, there are not entries in there that you don't know about. Um, they may be taking over your Chrome browser and sending you to crazy places. If you go back over to the top left and click on settings, maybe your browser is opening up now um, rather than to Google where it was originally set or MSN where you set it to, it's opening to something else like ask.com. On, on the uh, startup entry under settings, you can tell the browser to open a specific set of pages. So you click on open specific set of pages, put a check that radio button, and then click on set pages. If you find anything else here other than what you expect to find, like ask.com, you can hover over it and remove it. You see the little X popped up there? You can remove it. And you can then click inside at the add new page entry and enter what you would like to have. In my case, I want to have Google, and there it has showed up above the Add New Page. Click on OK, and the setting, the uh, home page is now set to Google. Under the Appearance tab, you can also enable the Show Home button, and it will enable the little house your home button over here to get you back to um, your home page. Now remember that you you uh, should under the uh, new new tab page also enable that and um, use new tab and you can also tell it to open a specific page and if you want to have Google open on a new page or maybe your mail or whatever you can enable it here and make an entry, but I'm going to use use the new tab page. Click on OK. Under the search entry, you can set your default search engine. In my case, I'd like to have Google as the default, but you see I also have Yahoo and Bing. If you click on the down the uh, down arrow and you see 
a search engine in there that you don't want or don't know about, you can manage the search engines by clicking on it. If you hover over the search engine entry, you can see that uh, in the first instance, Google is my default search engine. It's saying so right here. Under Yahoo, if I don't want to have Yahoo uh, at all, I can hover over it and go to the right and I can click on the X and make it go away or I can make it the default search engine and click on done and you're done with that now then when you uh, you can close the settings page it saves automatically and when you restart the Chrome browser you should have it all under control let's have a quick look at Internet Explorer Internet Explorer is uh, has much the same kind of settings, but uh, there's a couple of ways to get at them. In my case, I like to have my toolbar in Internet Explorer when I when I do open it, and the way to make sure it's there is to right-click at the top of the window and make sure that the menu bar is checked. If you uncheck it, you'll see that the menu goes away, but if you recheck it, there it goes. The menu bar is, this, is there. If you don't have a menu bar, you can go over to this little gear and it will also give you the tools entry. And you can go down to Internet Options. It's where we want to be, but let's put our toolbar back and go to Tools. And now go down to Internet Options. You'll see that that opens a panel. If you have a search engine opening up that you don't want, you'll find the entry for it here. All you have to do is essentially highlight the entry completely and just start typing. If you want Google or you want MSN or whatever you want, enter it here. And then you'll click on Apply and OK and your search engine is now defaulted back to what you prefer in this case Google if you click on the advanced tab and your your uh, Internet Explorer is completely out of control it, it's not opening up properly as a matter of fact sometimes it won't even display pages you can try and reset the browser back to its factory default settings and a lot of times that will bring Internet Explorer back under control so you just simply click on reset it will open a dialog box uh, asking you what you want to reset and you can go through these carefully uh, I suggest you do not delete your personal settings because that will make if you have uh, uh, if, if you have passwords set and uh, you have search providers set um, they will disappear and you'll have to redo them so, but in uh, it's going to dis disable all the toolbars, give you the default web web browser settings that will reset your privacy settings and your security settings. So if you click on reset, it will go ahead and do all of that. I'm going to cancel out of that, but you can go ahead and reset your browser, and a lot of times that will bring it back under control. This has been a quick overview of the settings in Internet Explorer and the Chrome browser. That's Computer Club lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.